Wyass Lake, me and Elmer. That's a Wyass Lake property. Wyass Lake. Let's let him go. open this camera back up and we caught another Wyass Lake crappie probably about 11 and a half inches long but uh, they're beautiful fish over here at Wyass I'm catching them let's let, let them go I'm catching these fish they're suspended over 17 feet of water uh, the, the water depth is 17 feet and I'm catching them about halfway. And uh, I'm just now getting where I can catch a few. I'm figuring them out a little bit. Me and Elmo ain't playing. Let's catch another Weiss Lake crop.
fish a little bit different than what you would if gunners were to catch them right now. Um, we hadn't caught a big one yet, but maybe we will. But these fish are pretty up here at Wise. Uh, today, we're catching them on the Bobby Garland jig. It's purple and pink. The water clarity is somewhat dingy because it rained. And the water coming out of the creek has caused well, the water to be dingy. So that's a good color to use in dingy water. Real important. Let's catch another one. folks watching me. I can't really explain exactly what I'm doing when they leave. I will. It makes me feel funny. Let him go. finder shows the shad being about eight foot deep, nine, eight to nine foot deep. What I'm doing is fishing above the shad just a little bit. Those crappie are coming out of those shad and grabbing this jig.
Dumbo? You ain't gonna catch no fish back in the pouch. this way with light jigs okay it's just your rod the jig and you you're better off to cast into the wind after you find out the depth the shad are on the depth finder and fish above them slightly in doing that those fish can't help but to come up and grab the bait and uh, like I've mentioned in my other videos, crappie are not line shy. Today is an overcast day, real overcast. So this high vis line is, is enabling me as an angler to see that light bite. And that bite is just a tick, just a light tick. Okay, let's, let's catch another one. I'm just making a cast. into the wind, whether you're fishing for crappie or bass or any species, this jig, let's let him, let's let him go, that jig is coming in a natural way, in other words, all fish, whether, it, whether you have wind or current, they're going to face against it, and it doesn't matter which way the wind direction is, they're going to face against it. So bringing that jig back in a natural way is that important about consistently catching crappie. All right, let's catch another one. We're looking for a slab here at Wyass Lake, and there are some big fish in this lake, no doubt, and plenty of them. We're here at the crappie capital of the world, but um, I hadn't got one. Almer hadn't caught one yet. But we're still having fun catching crappie on such a bad day. Um, it can be done, and we're going to do it. We're going to catch another one right out there.
pretty little crappie. We're going to try to catch one or two more and we're going to close this up because it's getting real cold and windy and you can see there's a front blowing in and I've got to cross the main lake. A little worried about that in this little, little boat but now we can do it. Me and Elmo can do it. We've done it many times before. So let's try to catch one more crappie. Maybe it'll be a good one. I'm going to close the lens now because it's fixing the rain. It's starting to rain now. And remember, let me catch a crappie real quick. One more. We got one more. one elbow just in the right time too it starts to rain all right there we go last crappie of the day folks i better go it's looking bad out here but i hate to leave but i don't have a raincoat we've had a lot of fun right here at last lake let him go i'm glad I feel fortunate that I was able to make a video today because I hadn't been up here in a while. I had to hunt these fish. Me and Elmo did. And I'm proud that we found them to make a video. I had to think different than what I do at Gunnerful Lake. I had to fish totally different. But I found them on the edge of this creek channel. A major creek channel. Which I knew they should have been in probably was and I found it. And remember, no matter where you fish, no matter the weather, go fishing when you can. Uh -huh. Because it is good for you. <laughs> yeah.